what is ring sense. So it seems like it covers a few areas and I'm not a hundred percent sure as to if it's a different module, if it's a different application, or if it's a subset of ring CX, maybe you can unpack this ring sense topic a little bit more and maybe do a little bit of a show and tell as to how that looks to the end user. Sure. So ring sense is a platform. It's an AI platform that, that okay. is our intellectual property. And we basically started rolling out the first capabilities of it in our ring central video platform solution. So we have, the, we had a uh, rolled S out a little over a year ago where you can do things like auto automatic summaries, full transcripts, and some other capabilities that are just baked into now ring central video. So we reintroduced ring sense for sales a few months ago, which is a tool that is designed to basically capture video uh, calls, bring central video, as well as any audio calls by sales reps so that we now can take that information about that call related to a, a customer uh, journey and then get analytics around it. And it, it had one unique feature in it that it also captured information about the deal. So for example, in the course of a typical sales process, I may have, you know, 10, 12 different calls, video calls, demos, and so on m involving different people on the sales team. So I can capture all of that information, aggregate that and understand exactly where we are in the deal, you know, what phase of the deal cycle, how much is the deal worth, and then be able to look across those different conversations related to that opportunity and say, okay, what, you know, what was transpired during this? during this conversation, what was uh, done during this one. So now that with Ring CX on the market, we have a flavor of Ring Sense out there called Ring Sense for CX. So this is tailored to the customer service, the customer experience type of type of scenarios where it's more support having questions rather than specifically sales focus. And so I can certainly show you what that looks like, what the tool provides in terms of the output from it. So. Yeah, let's take a look at my screen. Yeah. So, so one thing to, to point out here, when we were looking at the agent tool, I, I didn't show that when you have ring sense enabled on the platform, it, and by the way, it's an add on tool. So it's not native to the solution when you get the license for the agents, but if you want to add it on, it's a very cost effective tool and it does address, like you mentioned, quality management that becoming, you know, how well are my agents performing? Are they doing a good job? and so on. And the traditional way of doing that is you have someone review a sample of recordings. So I have, let's say an agent takes maybe hundred plus calls a day. And over the course of a week, that's 500 calls. And if I have a supervisor managing 10 people, that's a lot of calls to go through. So most quality management solutions that are in the market today, look at a sampling of those calls and present them to the supervisor or the evaluator to look at, they listen to the entire recording and then fill out a form to say, did the agent, you know, greet the customer properly? Did they you know, offer an upsell uh, type of thing? So they have to go through and, and listen for these things. And it takes a lot of time to do that. Well, RingSense is what we're calling a quality management light type solution because it's designed to let AI handle a lot of that. And it looks at hundred percent of the interactions versus just a sampling. And again, when it's in it, when it's turned on for the Ring CX system, then it's just a single click to access the ring sense UI. And here I'm showing the view when you first launch and it shows me a view of all the calls. And then I have in columns that show who the participants are, a score that AI has gone through and listened to that recording and said, okay, what am I looking for? And how well did this did the employees perform? So I'm looking at both, not only the participants, but yeah. also who are the employees, the agents in this case, how did they do? We, you know, we're really not paying attention to what the customer is saying or doing just yet. And so I'm going to look at uh, some, some calls that scored highly. So I have a bunch of calls that scored an eight. And if I highlight over that, it shows me what the AI saw. It said, okay, they, the, the agent was engaging. They provided options for rescheduling the explain the registration process. So this is a call coming into our healthcare vertical in our demo system. So this now is looking for things that are related to that. And if I click on the call, I'll get a summary along with what topics were covered. Again, this is generated by AI. AI coaching basically says this is some things that the agent did well. These, is a, these are the areas the agent needs to improve upon. So if I had a low score, 
call, it would show things that would in, in be things that the agent should be looking to improve upon. And then we have the ability to create trackers. So we can do uh, trackers based on keywords, or we can say concept. The concept is, you know, properly greeting the customer, making sure we're building rapport, things like that. So those are pre-built AI models in the system, and you can decide which ones you want to look for and tag or identify in those calls. And you can see here that when we reach a segment in the call or the recording where that uh, tracker was identified, I can actually just click on the play button and go directly to that part of the call. So That's again, it. it saves me time from having to listen to the entire recording. Uh, if I go to call details, it gives me a lot more information, including what AI used to evaluate the score of the call. So these are the components, energy, talk time, monologuing, filler words, patience, engaging questions. Uh, and this provides, again, the ability for me to drill into different segments of the call. Uh, I can provide manual feedback in addition to what the AI coach found. I can add comments, the scorecarding that allows me to do what, what I was just describing, the traditional questions that I respond with, how well did they you know, handle this particular aspect of the call. And it also provides some highlights and I can also add manual highlights. And again, anywhere where something is picked out a segment of the call, I can easily quickly get to that. There's a lot more to it from a management perspective, but this gives you a little bit of a taste for, for what RingSense provides. And again, this is our, our AI based product. RingSense is a post, post interaction uh, solution. And the one thing that's also interesting about this is that one of the challenges with most interactions, most contact centers is documenting what was in the call, what was in the interaction. RingSense automates that by basically allowing us to integrate with different CRM systems. So now I can take all this information and decide to map that into things like fields within Salesforce. So they can automatically integrate and push that information into a, let's say a case or a task associated with that contact in the CRM. Is there any type of sentiment analysis with this, or is it more based around keywords? Sentiment analysis, I don't have that enabled on the system that I'm showing you right now, but that's one of the, the differentiators between the ring sense for sales and the ring sense for CX, where we have things like customer sentiment and, and or things related to a support type of interaction versus a, a sales type motion. So right now I'm showing you voice and video. We are going to be delivering a digital integration as well. So we'll be able to take those, those interactions, the email thread, the, the chat thread, pull that information into ring sense, and then also provide the similar type of analytics.